We got a perfect record, the Nation of Islam, NOI protection. We've not lost one. Not a one. Not one. From Tank to Timberland to anybody that we've ever done in detail. Pac, we, I did Pac just before he left. We did, I did gridlock with him just before he went over and went to Vegas. We had just finished gridlock. You know, the movie he did with Tim Roth. Yeah, yeah, I remember yeah, that. I worked with him on that. And sh nobody done died on our watch. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. So even when you seen him on, when he had that scuff on, Mike Tyson, when he had that scuff on the airplane, he wouldn't have had to deal with none of that if you'd have been there. Not at all. That would have been, that would have been settled. Shut but down. I mean, yeah, and that's the only thing that I'm a buffer because he can, it, he don't need me. But I'm an insurance policy. It's some things that happen that you shouldn't ever have to deal with if you got a good security team. It shouldn't be any way in hell that you have to put hands on somebody or even argue with somebody. I'm supposed to slide up, flip them, put them in a position where you are out the door. That's a good security team. Yeah. You have somebody sitting around drinking, eating donuts. That's how Biggie died. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Lack, lack of a good security team. It's no way in the hell somebody's supposed to kill your primary. What the hell was you doing? And, and that place where he died in the night that he had that issue in, Cal in California, like for him... Everybody knew that the the that that the the, the temperature was high. The, and the atmosphere, and we were everybody at, knew that. We were at Hotel Nico, me and Captain Shahid, yeah. right? So Fat Burgers is across the street. I love Fat Burgers, so man. We, yeah, he We we Fat standing Burgers, out front. Man. We standing in front of the Nico. Puffy and Big pull up, it, going back to Cali. Cali. They were playing like, that. Playing that. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody looking like whoa. <laughs> Big at him is here. Mm. You dig what I'm saying? He jumps out. He got a full length mink coat on. He comes in. Bam. Puffy walks up. Shahid walks up to him. Said, hey, uh, Puff, man, if you need. Oh, nah, Shah, I got it. Two L.A. detectives walked up on Shahid Muhammad. Uh, yeah, we know who you are. Uh, we got this. Okay. Puff, it's like that. He just gives that smile, right? and pulls off, bam. We doing, I'm, I'm with Black Ground Records with uh, Barry Hankerson, Genuine, Aaliyah, uh, that boy Magoo, and- uh, Timberland, yeah. Timberland, right? So we sitting there, we do to, go to the awards, come back, everybody's meeting at the Peterson Hotel. So we get ready, Aaliyah's upstairs, they tell me to go get her. We come back down, when I come down, uh, Shai's on the phone. They're like, hold up. Biggie just got shot. Biggie mm -hmm. got shot. What the hell you mean Biggie got yeah, shot? I just seen him. I, we seen him earlier that day. Earlier this that was day. that night. Mm. You understand know I me? Mean? And, and they're like, he got shot. How in the hell did he get shot with the LAPD? You know what I'm saying? Wow. How did that happen? You know? So basically, if Puffy would have said to Shahid right then he needed a system with security, you guys would have locked in with him at that point. Yeah, it, ain't, what, we got a perfect record, the Nation of Islam, NOI protection. We've not lost one. Not a one. Not one. From Tank to Timberland to anybody that we've ever done in detail. Pac, we, I did Pac just before he left. We did, I did gridlock with him just before he went over and went to Vegas. We had just finished gridlock. You know, the movie he did with Tim Roth. Yeah, yeah, I remember yeah, that. I worked with him on that. And sh nobody done died on our watch. Wow. Nobody. So, did you ever do details for Shug? I've done work which I, not, I never did other than doing Gridlock, the movie. Of course. You know, but as for that entourage, I, it's too messy. You know, it was, it, was, it was a bunch of hood dudes. You know, everybody from the neighborhood, they doing the security team, they throwing tables over. They, and, you know, some, some people you can't take out the neighborhood. So, and that's why you wouldn't even want to, Shahid and them didn't ever even just even try to no, come did, together to do nothing. He did certain things. We did certain details with you. But as far as the entourage, no, we did we we never really, it was too big of a liability. 
Yeah, yeah, it, and and I could see how that would be a, a liability. Like those guys, it, according to what we see in movie land, because that's where you see it at. And if you really be real about it, that's where a lot of people, you know, draw their perception of that whole movement is through the movies and the way that they tell these stories. If you wasn't there to live it, all you have is the movies, right? It's just like when Pac got the awards, right, at at, uh, at the Soul Train. Yeah, I and, remember that. Um, White America had Suge, he wanted, they wanted Don King to mentor Suge, to bring him in, but Don King didn't have the stature, and Suge was Bulgarian, you know, he ain't letting no gay man tell me nothing what to do and pick my friends for me, so he loyal to the neighborhood. And lo now, it's, we're, we're doing the security, we do a security briefing, right? Now Don King is talking, He's kind of bitter with Suge anyway. They going in, it's a gang of 150 pyrus coming through, scaring white America, right? <laughs> so so he like, man, we're not letting Suge in. We're not letting this go in. We're keeping it down. We this keep, Don King. This Don King. They, and their security team telling our security team how we're letting people in through the gate to come into the awards. And man, look, Suge coming through with 150 people. We're not allowing this to happen. We're not allowing that to happen. And yakety yakety yak. Okay, cool. So now we are sure, man, get here on time. This is the restrictions they have, and they did this and that. But sure, this is a dude. He went and bought like 300 tickets, bought tickets. I'm, I'm, my folks coming in, right? So, but on CP time. So what, after the war, Puffy come through with 22 men. But he comes and sound check at 2 o'clock in the daytime. So him and all Gene, all of them, they all come in, get planted, whoop the whoop the wine. Six o'clock when the awards are starting, Suge rides up with the entourage. He rides up with the entourage, LAPD, stop him at the gate. Hey, only ones can come in is uh you, uh uh Pac and so and so we'll hold up at the gate. We're like, hold up, they coming through, but they got it, I don't know. He got Dudes from the Nickerson got uh, operations from the bottom. And some of the dudes out of the Nickerson Gardens had never been that far downtown. They getting lost from Watts coming to L.A. And, and what free, what we on the, man, where we at, blood? We on up? Man, it's, all you had to do is come down figure a hole, bro. You don't know what the Shrine Auditorium looked like? They hadn't been out the projects, right? Damn. So all these dudes, and they all lining up, so they stop them at the door. Don King would tell them to hold on. And they waylaid it until, uh, man, we, we can't let. So she'll tell man, I got 300 tickets. We, I done paid for tickets for these people. Well, they got to go around this way. All these stumbling blocks. So Shahid is like, man, uh, he let, um, what's the boy from San Francisco? Hammer, uh, MC Hammer, uh, Shug, um, Pac. They was coming. Man, let them in because Pac is an artist. He getting ready to get a war. They, Don King comes out. Don King, when Don King comes out, he's like, well, hey, Shug, I did now they're announcing the award for, for Tupac. He's right there, but they won't even let him go in. Damn. Well, Pac is not here at the time. Man, we are here, what the hell are they talking about? But they were starting to bring them away. But Puffy and all his folks was there. Yeah. You dig what I'm saying? So they got to be a, a big old melee, and they thought they had saw Puffy, and they, uh, went after him but it wasn't him you know what I'm saying so yeah it's just like it was that that was during that west coast east coast yeah, thing yeah so it's just with this industry they pick your friends for you yeah you just can't just have but some people ain't for I can come to I can't just come to your house every day where is you, it? You, I can but I'm potty about, trained yeah what about you know Doug King like like Don is the baddest. That's what man. I'm saying. Like, like, how did he? How was he so involved in that? This was a had nothing to do with boxing. This was an award show. Not, I, I, not Don King. Um, what? Not um, what's the dude over um, Soul Train? Don Cornelius. Uh, Cornelius. Don Cornelius. I said Don King. Don see, Cornelius. Said, yeah, Don Cornelius. That's not who Don it was. King, so right. Don Cornelius Don was the Cornelius. one doing all yeah. that. And he was, that. he was he was he was outside like that, coming and talking to y'all. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy, because you would think he'd be inside trying to deal with the festivities. 
He got people to do that, and and that's what he do. But he, he's trying to his, organize. His it. whole I get what thing you're was to segregate Suge them because Suge didn't want to listen. Yeah, you understand me? The dynamics it was not successful for his career. Yeah, it wasn't successful. For you know what I'm saying? Almost only counting horseshoes and dynamite. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.